Hi everyone and welcome to my project for the Creative Critters Imaginations blog. This week we were doing a project with frogs and I only have I think two cartridges that have frogs on them. One of them was the Imagine cartridge and another one was the Creative Critters cartridge. So I decided to use the Creative Critters to create my card and I kind of had a hard time coming up with something to do for this project. I really didn't want to do a card, but I ended up doing one anyway. So, um, my inspiration for this came out of the new idea book for Close to My Heart. It is this box right here. Um, I like the color combination, and I figured, you know, I'll just replace this flower with my frog. I put it on a card, and the ribbon that's on here, I didn't have or I don't have anything like this, so I created that on my Imagine um, and I'll show you on my card how I did that. So the background paper on my card is from the Elsie cartridge. Um, it has some really pretty patterns on here and I used some glossy accents just on the leaves just to give it a little bit of dimension up on the top part there the scalloped edge piece here, I used a coordinating orange color from the cartridge. And here is my faux ribbon. Um, I don't have anything like this. So what I ended up doing is going on the cartridge, pulling out the darkest color that it had on there, which was this brownish red color. And I took rectangles and made them real skinny. I colored them in and just duplicated the lines, if you want to call them that, um, here. And then on the edge, like on, let me show you the picture here. The way this is, it's got real thick lines in the middle and it has the thinner ones on the edge. And all I did was just make these lines a little smaller and put them on the edge as well. And then, you know, printed it out and then I had the ribbon. Um, the scalloped edge I got from using the new scallop or the new, what do they call these, the edgelet dies from Stampin' Up. I think that's what they're called, ed edgelets. And I used, they come in a set like this, the two of these come together and you get a scallop, I call it a scallop scallop because it's got little scallops on there and then this nice edge die here. The only problem with this is I have a cuddle bug and if you try to put them through your cuddle bug this way, like if you're cranking here and you try to put them through this way, they don't fit because these are six and an eighth inches wide and the cuddle bug opening is six inches. So if I want to do the edge of a card, I'm going to have to either come up with a different idea to how to get that done or buy myself a big shot so I don't know that I really want to make that investment yet um, but to do like the edge of this I can run them through long ways and I can cut them out and I also got these embossing folders that go with the edge of those dies so I used the scallop ones to go with the scallop and see if you can see that there. I cut the scallop and then you run it through the embossing folder otherwise if you did it the other way around it's going to take your embossing out. Um, so that's what I did with that. I inked the edges in Vintage Photo and just wrote, crinkled up the edge a little bit on here just to give it a little dimension. The, like I said, the frog is cut from create a critter. I use all the colors that match on this cartridge as well. And this piece here I um, I ran through an embossing folder and I don't know maybe it's just me. I always thought when like when you use the cuddle bug folders they always say to put the name up which when you open these your raised surface is on the bottom and that's what pushes the paper up through. But the, these are the Tim Holtz um, texture fades and I did that with this and I left the name up and it debossed at least I think it debossed unless that's the way it's supposed to be 
but the raised spots are on the top on this side and it pushes the paper down so I guess if I want to use these I got to pay more attention and flip my paper if I wanted the bumps to come up but I thought that looked kind of neat so I just left it like that and he's up on some dimensionals let me see that on some dimensionals there and I inked around him with peeled paint so that's my card I'm leaving the inside plain because I don't know what I want to use this for I don't like to stamp sentiments in my cards because I never know what I'm going to need it for and I can always just put something in there later on so that's my card for this week and I'll see you guys again in two weeks thanks